po guys, good morning. Magandang maga sa Belkir, buenos dias. Anywhere in the world, welcome back to my channel. So for today, we're going to talk about another vitamin C, my experience on it, and yeah, what to expect from it. So that will be the Pretty Cowrie Vitamin C Serum. I hope you guys can see, yeah. Actually, I don't think somebody ever reviewed this product because when I was searching about it, I cannot see any legit uh, review about this one. So when I was in the store, actually there was a like, lot of vitamin C serum. Last time I reviewed the Dr. Rachel vitamin C serum, which I really love. And when I was running out of it, I was thinking maybe I should try other vitamin C serum. I also mentioned that in my previous video. So yeah, I went to the store and pretty much I saw this just right beside the Dr. Rachel. It's called Pretty Cowrie Vitamin C Serum with Hyaluronic Acid, um, Pyrrolic Acid, Sea Bacturn Oil, and Plant Stem Cells. For sure, you wouldn't even buy this. Like, if you see this in store, you wouldn't even buy this or you wouldn't even, like, think of reading the ingredients because it's pretty look cheap. It looks cheap, I know, because it's really cheap. And it's made from PRC but I do believe that not all made in China or PRC are not effective actually most of the beauty products that I have used was from China and most of them really like made a good impact on my skin made a huge improvement on my skin like um, this specific perk claim that is from China I forgot the name it was in Chinese so yeah all right so Pretty Cowrie Vitamin C Serum, it's same as other serums, it comes in a bottle. Actually, I used it two months ago. I started using two months ago with the Vitamin C Serum from Dr. Rachel. I combined them because I don't want to surprise my skin with another product. So while using the Vitamin C Serum, I was also adding this just to, you know, as, uh, like to prepare my skin. So as soon as I ran out of Dr. Rachel Vitamin C, I would... Uh, use this instead. I already finished it It's it's empty. Yeah, it lasted me two months this is actually uh, Smaller than the doctor racial and it's much cheaper. It's only 7.75 real so it's pretty much way cheaper than the doctor ratio It's like 50% uh, less So yeah, it's made in PRC it has hyaluronic acid, pyrrolic acid, sea bacterium oil, plant stem cells, and many more other ingredients that I search. I googled, actually I googled most of it, and they're pretty much gentle and good for the skin. To be honest, when I was using it alone, I didn't see much difference when I was using the Dr. Ratio and this one. So I guess they're pretty much the same in content because they're both made in PRC. I don't know what to expect from it because it's really cheap I thought it would break me out so if if a product break me out that's when I I can't say that it's really good for me I mean for me personally because I tried a lot of products if you have a, what I call this an acne oily skin you probably had search all kind of products to stop your breakout and all and you probably have tried everything already so yeah, so when the product break me out, that's when I know it's not good. I mean, there are products that break me out, but it was good, like the the ordinary retinol and the ordinary niacinamide. It broke me out a little overhead, but I was already breaking out like crazy that time, so I didn't really mind it. But since November, I stopped breaking out. My face is so clear, so I was only looking for products that will like you know improve the texture of my skin and to brighten my skin and vitamin C is one of that. Dr. Rachel really did a significant improvement on my skin brightening and also like you know uh, fading some acne blemishes that I had before. So yeah pretty much there was no difference between Pretty Cowrie and Dr. Rachel. Yeah I didn't see any difference. It really brightens my skin just like the vitamin C and it really sits well on makeup. I mean under the makeup it really sits well under the foundation so that's why i really like it 
if I were to choose between Dr. Rachel and Pretty Kauri, I think I would go for Pretty Kauri because it's much cheaper. It gave me the same result as the Dr. Rachel. And I don't know, I just feel like this is better than Dr. Rachel, but overall, they're probably the same. I mean, the thing is with this, it has pyrrolic acid which is really good in skin it has other ingredients but i don't think that's the main component there's a thing the main component is still the vitamin c but it has some other ingredients that is also good for your skin so yeah that's actually i don't want to prolong this um for me i would repurchase this if i cannot find any other vitamin c in the market because in qatar it's really hard to find vitamin c serums or any other serums because they're so strict with beauty products so yeah uh yeah i really like it it's actually the same as dr rachel if you are if you're already using dr rachel just go for it you don't need to replace it with this one it's just that i ran out of dr rachel and i was like trying to explore other products to see if they will be like my skin will improve more uh, this didn't improve more my skin and it didn't really like did a huge improvement because it was already good that time when I was using Dr. Rachel it just like maintained it what I had which is really good and occasionally I have some acne breakout from period period acne but there's it's not much like this one this one I just had my period that's why I had this and when I was when I started using vitamin C before when I was not using it my acne scars are so dark but when i started using vitamin c i mean the moment it dried out you don't even notice the acne marks anymore it lightened like it looks like pinkish unlike before it was so dark it was so visible because the rest of my face is white and the acne mark is dark that's when you know you have dark complexion but with vitamin c it lessen it and it just give it like you know natural pinkish glow even with the acne look i actually the only problem I have now is redness. I have a lot of redness and I'm working on another serum right now, AHA. I've been using it for the past two months, I think. Yeah, no, maybe one and a half month. And it pretty much calmed my redness, but not that much because maybe the content of AHA on that serum was not much. So I'm still trying to explore other serums. So yeah, by the time I finish the whole bottle of that AH, I will review also and I will share to you guys. So yeah, that's my review on Pretty Carry Vitamin Serum. It's pretty much the same as Dr. Rachel, but it's way cheaper and it has some other ingredients that was not listed in the Dr. Rachel. So if you're looking for a lot of uh, benefits, I mean, if you want to infuse more other like serums and vitamins or any other skin ingredients you can choose pretty calorie if you haven't bought the dr rachel yet so yeah that's pretty much it i love you guys i'll see you on my next review bye